The Heisman finalists have been announced. And who do we have? We have Max Duggan of TCU. We got CJ Stroud from Ohio State. Stetson Bennett from the University of Georgia. And Caleb Williams of USC fame. I've got an announcement for you tonight. Announcement number one. We will not spend the duration of this segment trashing Stetson Bennett. Trashing the good name of Stetson Bennett. We will not do that. Announcement number two. I think we got a big mess on our hands with the Heisman Trophy. Announcement number three. We, at Late Kick, happen to be of the opinion that Hendon Hooker got screwed in all of this by the same crowd that screwed Will Anderson, by the same crowd who screwed Kenneth Walker last year. Yes, friends, Hendon Hooker belongs in your heart, and then he also belongs in New York City. And he can only be in one place, as it turns out, because the Heisman voters made sure that he would not be in the other. I've got a problem, I've got a long-standing problem with this award, and more specifically not the award, but how it's voted on. And you can really extrapolate that statement out across all of college football awards. Now, full disclosure, I am a voter for the Broyles Award, for example. Uh, the guy I voted for won today. Garrett Riley, TCU, congratulations. Broyles Award, top assistant coach in the country. I, I'm not a Heisman voter, so I can say whatever I want to here. I was telling Jesse earlier today, I don't necessarily know how to broach this without sounding very petty and bitter and scorned, so I'm just going to say it. I should be a Heisman voter because I know some other people who are Heisman voters. Some of them couldn't even care less about college football. Some of them just TV anchors in Des Moines, and therefore they're a Heisman voter. I don't even know how it happens. I don't pretend to know how it happens. I know I've forgotten more about this sport than a lot of people will ever know who have a vote on this thing. Now, the reason I get upset about it is not because I, I wake up each morning checking the mailbox hoping I became a Heisman voter. It's not that. It's that this is the most prestigious individual award in our sport. I don't think it's too much to ask to have the most informed people about our sport voting on it. And yet you don't. And what happens is you get to the end of the year and there are some people, not all, there are a lot of very, very reputable people who vote on this that eat, sleep, and breathe this sport. But there are some who do not. And some who don't even love college football. They get to the end of the year and if they do submit their ballot, they pull up like collegefootballstats.com, which is probably a website. And they check out some numbers there. One, two, three, four, mail it in and we're done. I haven't watched anything haven't even begun to broach the more nuanced aspects of what actually makes an outstanding player. Oh, and by the way, these people certainly are never looking past the quarterback position. Like, God forbid, we admit that there are other positions of value on a football field aside from quarterback. <sighs> so, anyway, yes, bitter, scorned, whatnot. I know it sounds that way. I just, um, I know that there are some people who really, really cover this sport at the ground level that aren't voting on this. And I know there are some people who are casuals at best when it comes to college football who are voting on this. And I've got a really, really big problem with folks like Hendon Hooker, guys like Hendon Hooker, not being Heisman Trophy finalists. Now, what I will not do, I told Jesse specifically, don't make me an A-B graphic. Do not show Stetson Bennett versus Hendon Hooker. That's not what this is about. Everyone and their brother trafficked in that last night. You don't have to trash Stetson Bennett. You don't, have to, you don't have to do that thing where, who do you like, Bo or Herschel? Oh, Bo, Herschel sucked. No, Herschel didn't suck. Well, Herschel, Bo sucked. No, Bo didn't suck. They're both really, really, really good. Stetson Bennett, Hendon Hooker both had really, really good seasons. I'm not even here to do the A-B thing. I'm not here to do one or the other. I'm here to talk about an overarching issue because it's not just limited to 2022. Guys, you know that. Anybody who is watching college football, which should be everyone who votes on the Heisman but is not, understood last year. Will Anderson not being in New York City was a crime against college football. This year, everybody who has watched the sport, you don't even have to know how to observe it. Just watch it, please. Understands Hendon Hooker not being a Heisman finalist is a crime against college football. Oh, I, I watched film, Josh. No, SportsCenter is not film. CBS Sports HQ, God bless them, is not film. You don't even know what film is. If I equipped you with film, you wouldn't know how to break it down to begin with. But at the very least, at the very least, it's not too much to ask to just watch whole games or even go on YouTube and just watch condensed games. You would be stunned. I really believe you would be stunned if you found out on average 
how little college football a lot of these voters watch. This sounds so common sense, but it really isn't. You've got folks like me who, who just, that we, we immerse ourselves in it all year. A lot of you guys are like that. In fact, let me go a step further. The average audience member for our show, the average listener or viewer of Late Kick, knows more about college football, watches and ingests more college football than I would estimate 60% of Heisman voters do. That's real. That's truth. That's honesty. So if you think we are in the most effective manner possible deciding these awards, be my guest. We'll just agree to disagree. I got a big problem with how it's decided. So I've spoken my piece on it. I think Caleb Williams, for the record, is going to win this thing pretty convincingly. I've seen that some books have already taken the odds down. So it's not about Hendon Hooker you know, winning it or not. It's not that. It's just it means something to be a Heisman finalist. It means something to have that on your resume. And because it means something, I just wish the process was taken a little more seriously. That's all I'm saying. 